All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2. So now I have x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 16 is equal to 0. Now 16, I can rewrite as 4 to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, x to the power of 2 times 2, I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x to the power of 2 and b is equal to 4. So I have x to the power of 2 plus 4 times x to the power of 2 minus 4. And this is equal to 0. So now x to the power of 2 minus 4, this is actually the same thing as x plus 2 times x minus 2. So now I have x to the power of 2 plus 4 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. So now this gives me three equations. I have x to the power of 2 plus 4 is equal to 0 x plus 2 is equal to 0, and x minus 2 is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, all I have to do is add 2 on both sides. These two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to 2. So this is one solution. For x plus 2 equals 0, I have to subtract 2 on both sides, and I get x is equal to negative 2. So this is my second solution. And finally, for x to the power of 2 plus 4 equals 0, well, I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. So then I'll have x squared is equal to negative 4. Now, if I take the square root on both sides, I get the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 4. The square root of x squared is x. And the square root of negative 4, I can rewrite as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imagined number i. So now if x is equal to the square root of 4 is equal to positive or negative 2, and the square root of negative 1 is i. So I have x is equal to positive or negative 2i. So my four solutions here are x is equal to positive 2, x is equal to negative 2, x is equal to positive 2i, and finally, x is equal to negative 2i. So these are my four solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 500 to the power of 500 over 250 to the power of 250. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite my, my exponent 500 here as 250 plus 250. So now I have 500 to the power of 250 plus 250. And I have this over simply 250 to the power of 250. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 500 to the power of 250 plus 250, and that's equal to 500 to the power of 250 times 500 to the power of 250. And now I have this over 250 to the power of 250. Now, this is the same thing as 500 to the power of 250 times 500 to the power of 250 over 250 to the power of 250. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 500 to the power of 250 over 250 to the power of 250, we can rewrite that as 500 over 250 to the power of 250. And 500 over 250, that's simply equal to 2. So I have 500 to the power of 250 times 2 to the power of 250. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, 
this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 500 to the power of 250 times 2 to the power of 250. Uh, sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is simply equal to a times b to the power of m. So 500 to the power of 250 times 2 to the power of 250, this is equal to 500 times 2 to the power of 250. And 500 times 2 is 1,000, so I have 1,000 to the power of 250. Now 1,000, this is the same thing as 100 to the power of 3. Or sorry, 10 to the power of 3. So now I have 10 to the power of 3 to the power of 250. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 3 to the power of 250, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 3 times 250, which is simply 10 to the power of 750. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 40 to the power of 40 over 20 to the power of 20. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first rewrite my exponent 40 here as 40 to the power of 20 plus 20. So I rewrote 40 as 20 plus 20. So now I have 40 to the power of 20 plus 20 over 20 to the power of 20. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, I have 40 to the power of 20 plus 20. So this is the same thing as 40 to the power of 20 times, again, 40 to the power of 20. Both my exponents are the same, so these two are going to be the same as well. And now I have this over 20 to the power of 20. Now, I can actually take one of these 40 out of 20s outside of this fraction. So I can rewrite this as 40 to the power of 20 times 40 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 20. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. In this case, a is equal to 40, b is equal to 20, and m is 20 as well. So, 40 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 20, you can rewrite this as a over b to the power of m. a is 40 over b is 20, and m is 20 as well. So I have 40 to the power of 20 times 40 over 20 to the power of 20. Now, 40 divided by 20, that's simply equal to 2. So now I have 40 to the power of 20 times 2 to the power of 20. Now, remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So 40 to the power of 20 times 2 to the power of 20, that's going to equal 40 times 2 to the power of 20. 40 times 2 is 80. So now I have 80 to the power of 20, so this is my answer.